Federal correctional officers are staging pickets today outside all of the country's 52 federal penitentiaries. They're upset over a number of things, but they're protesting today because it marks three years since their last contract expired. Let's learn more about what's going on today. In Kingston, Ontario, we reach Jason Godin, the National Vice President of the Union of Canadian Correctional Officers. Mr. Godin, thanks for being our guest today. My pleasure. What's the plan today? Well, it's just an information picket, uh, you know, geared towards our members and uh, certainly reminding the federal government it's time to sit down and get serious about uh, our collective bargaining process, especially given the fact that our, uh, our job continues, uh, our workplace continues to deteriorate. Uh, as a result of, of many policies uh, and changes made by this government. Okay, so I want to come back to that point in just a second, but when you say it's an information picket, just how much of a disruption will it have in terms of how the facilities operate today? Well, there, uh, there won't be uh, any disruption to the facilities themselves. It'll be an information flyer going out uh, to inform uh, our, the members and certainly the public and uh, about uh, the fact that our contract expired three years ago. So we don't anticipate any, uh, any disruptions in terms of uh, the institutions. We certainly, uh, uh, you know, our, our number one goal is obviously the public safety and we'll continue to maintain that. But we're trying to get our message out that it is time to get serious at the bargaining table. Uh, certainly down the road we'll plan uh, more actions. Okay, there will be more actions like this or stepped up? Well, we may step it up. It all depends. We're actually heading into a bargaining session next week, so we're hopeful that the, the government hears this today. Uh, they hear that we're serious about our collective agreement, and uh, it's time to get serious again about the negotiating. So I guess we'll have to gauge uh, uh, the conversations that we, uh, that we engage in next week with the government. All right, so as, as you head into those discussions with government, you mentioned deteriorating conditions. What are your members' main concerns? Well, obviously, uh, you know, there's, there's a number of issues on the table. One of them is the monetary issue, and, uh, you know, in 2006, with the exact same government, uh, we were comparable uh, uh, counterparts with the RCMP at the federal level. That's a big piece. Uh, sick time is obviously a, a concern for correctional officers. Um, on any given day, correctional officers suffer a lot of uh, work-related injuries. Uh, violent incidents are up in our, in our federal institutions, up over 30%, and the double bunking numbers are climbing. Uh, higher than we've ever seen them before. So again, correctional officers, you know, want to be compensated, uh, obviously, for, for the dangerous job that we perform and obviously the public service we provide to Canadians. And uh, right now, you know, many correctional officers are feeling very disrespected by the fact that uh, this government uh, continues to make uh, our conditions uh, tougher. In fact, they call it tougher on crime, but essentially it's tougher on correctional officers. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's time to sit down, get serious, and talk about the real issues on the table. So basically, increased pay for increased risk and danger is what you're seeking in yeah, the Yeah, and uh, you know, and our, and our demands are, are very much uh, responsible uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the public. Um, we're, all, we're at, all we're seeking is exactly uh, where we were before with the, uh, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and this exact government was a government that agreed that yes, that is, uh, that is adequate comp compensation uh, for correctional officers, and we just don't understand why they fail, why, they, why, why do they fail to recognize that now. Um, when they agreed to recognize that in 2006. So we're a bit dumbfounded by uh, how, they're, how they're sitting at okay. the table with us right now. As we talk, uh, we have a picture to show you. We found, that, uh, found it online. That you, it's something that uh, you erected. It's a billboard, and you can see it. And it, it shows Tony Clement, who's the president of the Treasury Board, when he indicated that uh, correctional officers have his full support. And you obviously wrote, really, uh, three years. The last line there, just underneath our graphic, is three years without a collective agreement. So that's, this, is, this has just gone up now. This is new? Uh, it's just gone up in the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's a clear message uh, to the Treasury Board President, who, by the way, has two correctional institutions in his riding. Uh, and he often says, you know, I, I you know, fully support uh, the job that you guys do and the dangerous work you perform. And unfortunately, as the Treasury Board President, he really hasn't, uh, hasn't uh, moved in a direction uh, that would see a satisfactory settlement for correctional officers and respect the work that we're doing. Uh, you know, correctional officers go in every day and risk their lives, and we're proud of the work that we do, and we're proud of the contribution we make to public safety. But uh, for whatever reason, uh, we feel that the Treasury Board Minister doesn't recognize that, although uh, they did in 2006. In 2006. So, as you you say you're heading into another round of discussions next week. You've been three years without an agreement. Are you optimistic the outcome will be different this time? 
Well, we sure hope so. Um, you know, we're uh, we're very reasonable uh, with our demands. Um, you know, we're we're asking the government to sit down. We feel that the the best way for us to settle a dispute is through the negotiation process. Uh, face to face discussions are always the best option. So, uh, we're hopeful next week that uh, we can sit down and get uh, get a deal done and uh, and correctional officers, uh, you know, hopefully a boost to their morale to say, look, uh, the Canadian government is behind its frontline men and women, and that's our hope next week. So, uh, we'll try to remain a little bit optimistic and uh, at the same time we'll have to gauge uh, how the discussions land on the table at the end of next week. We'll stay in touch Mr. Goat and thank you very much for uh, today's discussion. Thank you very much.